Hello, I'm Lotus and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are not going to be making food like last week. Today we are actually going to talk about essential oils and what you can do with them. I'm going to give you my recommendation, what my favorites are and what I like to do with them. So we're going to start in the kitchen and then we are going to work our way up to the bathroom. So let me start with giving you my favorite oils and why I like to use them. So first thing about oils is that you really want to make sure you're buying oils from a reputable source and that they are all natural and aren't going to give you any allergic reactions or irritations to your skin because that's pretty counterproductive. Uh, so you also want them to be in a dark bottle. Typically they would be in sort of a blue bottle or they would be in a brown bottle and that sort of keeps the scent um, longer and keeps it from going rancid and oxidizing. And if you're going to make little mini things um, on the go, if you want to add scents to your creams or something, if you go to certain couple stores, you could find these little mini, again it's the blue, or these are great too for making oils that you can throw in the bath. So let's start with the kitchen. And in the kitchen I like to use um, I like to use eucalyptus. I also like to use eucalyptus in my diffuser also. So this is one of the ones that I have that I like to use and it's easy. You just open it up and put it in. So um, eucalyptus is great because it opens the airways respiratory wise and also it's just great. It kills all sorts of germs and bacteria and just this smell is fantastic. Um, so this is super handy because it's got different settings. So if you want more of a mister, great, uh, especially for flu season. So eucalyptus one. The other one that I really love, which is tea tree, which is tea tree. Everyone needs tea tree, especially nowadays. Tea tree will kill everything and anything. Melaleuca is the other name for it. So typically I use this to clean, fantastic. The other ones that I like to use are orange, because orange is a calmer, a de-stressor, relaxer, like put in your diffuser. If you've got really good quality oils, you can put it in your water. So that, lemon, peppermint, throw it in your water. Also great in the diffuser, the bathtub, we're gonna make some stuff with this. So orange, lemon, and lavender, my favorites. Uh, lemons and oranges, again, not just for cleaning, um, because they actually have super cleaning power, but they also smell so great and um, just as uplifting and refreshing. So let's start in the kitchen and let's make some cleaning products. So the first thing we're gonna make, I've put half a cup of vinegar in here already, and then we're gonna use half part water. And then you could either buy a bottle like this, because again, the dark bottles are better in glass. Um, and then what you can do is from a place, like a dollar store, you can just get the, um, the mister. So you can just grab this and put it on, which is pretty simple, just put it on there. So we're gonna put that in here. We're gonna add a couple drops of essential oil in there. So I'm thinking, let's do the, well, let's definitely do tea tree because that's gonna kill everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That should be good. Give it, dump it in there. So again, half and half. Half water, half vinegar. You can use any vinegar. White vinegar is fine. It's cheap. You don't want to be using your expensive cooking vinegar for this to clean your bathrooms. Ooh, that is strong. And then you can either put some, oof, that smells good. Rosemary is another uh, essential oil that I use all the time. And if you wanted to, you could just peel off a little lemon and throw that in also. Um, so why don't we put the lemon in another bottle? Why don't we do two of these? So put the 
lemon in there. And then we will put, where is my lemon essential oil? It's here somewhere. All right, well, you know what? We can do orange. That will work also. There is the orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same thing. With half a part water. You can just wing it. It's just to clean, you know. But you want it half and half. So, Ooh. all right. And then the finger. There we go. Actually, just let's use a little slice of orange there too. It's really just the orange orange peel that you want. And that's about it. So now we're done with our cleaning stuff. Super easy. And, you know, even if you've got young children and they're licking all sorts of stuff on the floor and that just disinfectant, spray this around, it'll kill just about everything. All right. So now let's talk about making some Epsom salts. I like to go with the plain unscented ones because some people have allergic reactions to the scent, whether quite often at the store you'll find eucalyptus or you'll find lavender, but quite often it's not good quality essential oil. So know your source and make sure you're not gonna have an allergic reaction this way. So let's use we could use four drops of rose and four drops of lavender. How's that? That's sort of relaxing and soothing. Three, four, five, and five. Let's do five, ten in total. And here we go, the lavender. One, two, three, four, five. Epsom salts are fantastic for you. With the magnesium. Really good, especially before bed, if you're not sleeping well. Let's see what this smells like, see if we need more. Fantastic. So the sniff test, super important. You can add more if you need to, but you can't take it away. So it's better to start slow and add more if we wanted to. We could put, yeah, let's put another drop of rose. So that's what I would do, just start slow. There we go, done with this one. And then oils. So I love oils. And oils, again, same thing. You want to know the source. You want to make sure it's high quality. So this one actually is great. Um, I was in Morocco last year and came back with this, which is argan oil, which is amazing, great for the skin. The other oil that I came back with that I've used, which I don't even know where to get here, but I'm going to on the hunt for it, is prickly pear. Prickly pear. It's a cactus is what it is, anyhow. Oil is phenomenal, great for your skin. So I already have this, the argan oil in here. Again, dark bottles are better. Uh, so I would put the argan oil in here or the other oil that I really like is this jojoba oil, which is great because it's not too, it's good for oily skin, it's good for dry skin, it's somewhere in between. Um, or Everybody loves coconut oil. Coconut oil is great. Again, really know your source. Make sure it's a good quality. Um, so let's throw a couple drops in here. Why don't we go with um, frankincense is actually really, really good. So why don't we do a little frankincense in there? One, two, three, four. Because this is a small bottle. We don't need that much. Again, test it, you know. So this, what you can do, a couple things with it. Um, you can put a couple drops in your bath, which will, again, instead of using the salts, you can use that. Uh, or you can even just put it on your skin. Oh, wow, that smells so good. So one last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, 
orange. I didn't really get into orange too much. Again, this is another little thing I got in Morocco. <sighs> so much fun in Marrakesh. Gotta love that place. Anyhow, this smells amazing. So this is quite often, it's um, when we use the orange, it's the orange, sweet orange. But this, in Morocco, what I got was actually the essential oil of the Essence de, de Fleur d'Orange. So it's la fleur, which is the, the flower. Um, and you could just, if you've got a headache or if you're stressed and can't sleep, you could roll it there or anywhere. So you can, um, I quite often when these are done, I pop the little ball out because I've got a couple of these little minis that I pop the little ball out. And then I add, so I've got another one here that I got from L'Occitane that I just keep using because I put the carrier oil that I like. And then I put either the, either the lavender or the orange are my two favorites for headaches or stress or before bed routine. So there you have it. A couple of things to do with essential oils. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to do. I am going to be doing a bean salad um, soon because Sandy really wanted to see a bean salad. So yes, bean salad coming up next. Goodbye. Have a great week.